everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Rickety Games. I'm Sydney, and today we are back. We are ba back with Alan Wake 2. This is the final draft. This is what a lot of you have been waiting for. I think we can enjoy this game a lot more thoroughly now that we know everything that we know. This is definitely going to be a spoilers game. I will be talking about the other games, Quantum Break, Control, the DLCs. So if you haven't played any of those and you don't want spoilers for those, that is a warning for you. But I thought with that knowledge, with everything that we now know, everything we've got in our brain here, we can attack the final draft and do it right. And I'm very excited to do it. So are you, are you ready to, to become healthy? To read the final draft. Let's get into it. Ooh. I'll be playing on a mouse this time. Why not? Played on a gamepad before. Oh, I'm ready. Back to the beginning. With the memory of the past loop already fading fast. But while it lingers, I know there's hope. Hey, that's different. We're not doomed to repeat our failures in an eternal loop. This is a spiral. That's different. I, that's right. A fictional poet once said, Beyond the shadow you settle for, there is a miracle illuminated. I will not settle for a shadow. I'll find the miracle through the night. I love the visuals. It's of not game. just victims and monsters. I see now there are heroes as well. That's new. We can find our way through the darkness. Yes. We will break through the surface. We will emerge into the light. Hell yeah. This game is stunning. Oh. Are you guys ready? This poor man. He was a righteous asshole, but I don't know if he deserved this. You can say the same for Alan. I mean, he was also kind of a dick. When we first met him way back. Alright, Nightingale. Let's saunter our way into the woods. Oh boy. I was so confused when we first started this game, and I was like, who the... Who are you? Stumbling around. Oh. Gotta get the view, you know? It's our last moment to get the view. Although, you know, if I was Nightingale, I would never want to look at that again. Been trapped in it. Can you hear me? Hey! Help! Oh, where'd he gone? Ed, please! I'm gonna get fucked up! They're gonna take my heart! Literally! I can't run, so we just gotta saunter. Just gotta stumble in the woods. I imagine everything hurts out of emerging from Cauldron Lake. It doesn't seem like a pleasant place to be drowned in, you know? Oh, ho, ho, I'm so happy to be back. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't know if I'm ready for the scares. They gave me a heart attack last time. All the jump scares. You know? I was like, oh. I'm awake now. Oh. Like that? There's Whoa, there's, I was gonna say there's another one. Right on cue. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I can sprint now. Oh good. Yeah, I gotta. I gotta run, please. I'm so excited to be back. I know you guys are excited. You're gonna have to help me with the lore. I I can remember a lot, but not everything. And y'all know my schedule right now is fucked up! 
Woo! Run the other way! Or somewhere. I think I just go straight. <laughs> I just momentary panic. But you guys are gonna have to help me fill in what I miss. Collectively, we got it together. We're one big brain. Uh, I'm good, thanks. I don't want coffee. I don't want to become coffee right now. I'd like to get some clothes. Maybe some hot cocoa. We're gonna embrace it. Take me! Oblivion! Open your arms! Oh. I'm sorry. Hearted. What an opening. What an opening. Oh, there's our view. Give it to me. Yes! There we go. That's how you do a cold open. Diane, I'm heading in. These Douglas furs are beautiful. Hey, kiddo. How are you? Sean Ashmore. I'm good, Mom. How are you? David Harwood, James McAfee. This trip might take a little longer than I thought. Sam I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Legend. Oh my god, Mom. It's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. You missed stuff. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. <laughs> Logan. Straight up. I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. <laughs> Gotta love his cynicism, Ren. He's a moody bunch. Here we are. But we love him. Cauldron Lake. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. I will maintain that no one drinks coffee like Sam Lake does. He's got that perfect lift. Oh yeah. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> we don't need him. By a bear? <laughs> I'll check out that map. He wishes. Invitation. Return one. I'm so excited. So I will uh, pick up everything. Memorizing. 
before we get swallowed up by the trees. By the trees. But I won't necessarily read everything unless I think it's new. Um, some of the stuff is probably going to be the same. I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. Our deputy. <laughs> so we know we can wander around and we'll still hear people, which is good. Thornton and Mulligan, man. Can we just, uh, can we fix things now? Doesn't get this complicated. Ma'am, I was exploring. I know there's probably nothing up here. But I'm just happy to be back. We're circling the... This weird parking lot. It's kind of a parking lot, but also not really. Alright, let's just get to it. There's nothing hey, around. Over here. Hi. How's it going? Hey there. Don't possess Agent me. Agent Casey, right? Ooh, well, sure yeah, hey, you said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. <laughs> I'm Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. He's got crazy eyes. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I, I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Those damn vets gonna show up, Mulligan? That I'm the boss, fucker. Federal agent's right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton. I got, like, Thornton, smushed by down the Casey. Crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right Neither are you, buddy. I'd be like, yeah, bro, we didn't hear ya. <laughs> Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out-of-towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. The city folk. It's pretty Not that we have anything against city folk, right, Thornton? <laughs> but don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. Breaker? Let's take what a briefing. Can you tell us about the crime scene. I was getting to that, Thornton. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. Missing works too. Missing. Ripped out of the body. Just, whoosh, you know, heart of the dragon. Just, whoosh, that works. I want to see the body. Show me. How do we get there? Oh, Through sure. The fence. That's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. <laughs> Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. There's no easier way the to store, go. The store, the campground, all of it. Yes, sir. Tell him I'm here, Winky. I'll show him around. They got it, Thornton. <sighs> Thanks, sir. Thank you, sir. Can I just take you out right now so we don't have to deal with you later? He's got crazy eyes. He's like... <laughs> also... This is worth noting. Oh, goodbye. She went through the fence. But the sign on the door said, Closed off by order of the FBC. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Yeah, Thornton, shut up. Tabby Tab. The Mind Palace. The Mind Place. Sorry. Place. My version of the Mind Palace technique. Excuse me. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the Mind Place again for each case using each field office as a model in my head. Smart. She's a the smart cookie. Board. We can go explore it now, I think? I don't see anything that's... different. <gasps> oh, this is... continuing on from what we did before. So these are all the songs that I found. You can see Six of Six, I found the Old Gods of Asgard. I'm missing one, though. Of the various artists. Well, that's depressing. Looks like we have something to find. And I don't know if I remember getting all of these guys either. This is Casey in the kitchen. Smiling for once. And Logan. We can't look at those. It doesn't look like. And this salt shaker is not here at the moment. Oh, no, it is. It is. There it is. We can't look at it, though. Anything over here? Nope. Don't look like we can look at anything else just yet. Case boarded it. Everything is. we know about the previous murders. Right. Worth taking another look. Nice, nice, nice. We got all of the things. Alright, we are free now. 
So we got all the victims here. They all went missing in 2010. The murder method is very slightly different. Bloating is the only commonality, but otherwise they had chest trauma. But uh, one of them was found in water. And then post-mortem tattooing of the body. Apart from going missing, none of the victims have in anything in common. Uh, but the killer may be a sportsman or a hunter because it resembles a butchery technique. So, you know. A series of murders have occurred around the town of Bright Falls. And we must find the connection. Lovely. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's Wait. head down the hill to the crime scene. Yes. Yes. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. Aww. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Oh, don't remind us. All right, is anything new in this? This doesn't look like anything changed. Yep. Nope. All of this is the same from last time. So nothing new here. Moving on. What is this? Starting fires is prohibited. Please do not feed the wildlife and leave no trace. What about corpses? Does that count? Probably counts as a trace. You know, blood. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Taken out. Mirror peak. We can get a little glimpse of it behind. But otherwise, looks like the same. I imagine all of the signage and like smaller things that kind of give the world of Cauldron Lake and Fucking nature. <laughs> me too, dude. It gives me a headache. <laughs> too much sky <laughs> and trees. Fuck them. Uh, <laughs> fucking Casey. Uh, everything that gives kind of character to like Bright Falls and stuff. I imagine all of that stays the same. Uh, I think it's like the bigger clues, probably the bigger cutscenes that have a I'm lot gonna of go check something out. Changes. Be right would, back. Would be my Got guess. It. Is there anything up here? I know you kind of eventually wind your way around to finding things, but is that a? Kids lunchbox? Lunchbox! Thank you, Rose. An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. My dad Casey used to hates say... the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. Coincidence? He hates those cheesy crime books. I think. But he really hates the movies. Not. <laughs> Not sure where the tough get going to, but maybe you'll find her inspiring. Okay, so we can collect these and it is still worth doing it in the lunch boxes. These will help us with our upgrades. Do we still have our upgrades? I believe so, right? Because it is New Game Plus still. We do. So I have the more bullets. I got jack shit. So we gotta start all the way over. Uh, not that. Not that either. Uh, I, I don't have the other guns with me right now, but I, I suppose maybe when we get going, I can pick them up again? Let's meet Casey Good to back. See you still in one piece, Anderson. I am still here, Forced sir. Forced to be a dangerous place. Not well. a bad place to get murdered. Hm. <laughs> if getting back to nature is your thing. Damn. Appreciate it. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. <laughs> you think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hm. If they did, next coffee's on me. Hi. Hi. I hear you don't want to be next to the body. How's it going? 
Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at Thornton. your service. Ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. Casey, you keep ruining my cinematic moment. He keeps like bumping up on me and then everything gets all screwy. So, FBI, huh? FBI. That's so cool. Uh, oh, I do have this. Do you remember the jump scare in here? <laughs> I don't. What is this? Uh... Oh, clues. Clues! Means there were people here. Because it's blind. I can't see shit in the dark. Also, when it gets dark in this game, it gets dark. Please. Nope. Okay. Can we get over here? So there's another clue? There's a schedule, right? Oh yeah, like people taking note of stuff. Suspicious activity spotted. Nothing to report. Good, good, good. Got the all-seeing eye there. It's kind of creepy. On we go. Hello, boys. Don't mind me. I was just, you know, doing the detective work. Alrighty, alrighty, I'm here. Hello, yeehaw. Oh, no tarp. Coffee's on me. Can I take this? It looks like something for me. Now this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now, he didn't touch nothing. You know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, oh. deputy. No tarp. You owe His me heart. a coffee. Okay, let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the M.O. of the previous murders? Yeah, a little bit. Just a smidge. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Very. Woo! Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? I think not! Oh boy. Place the key image. Yes, yes, yes. I know how to play the game. A bit. A smidge. Leave me alone. I want to play. We got to do our thing. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. Yep. And it's sitting right the here. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Youch. Youch. Seems like a very bad night. Drop all this in here. Seems consistent. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. Hmm. More clues to work with. Well, this shit. This makes four murders that we know about. <sighs> Hard at work, those murderers. They don't seem to quit. Yes, yes, yes. We gotta go to Casey's. We got Alex Casey lunchboxes to hang out Finding with. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. I think. <laughs> How many message. times can we do that quote? <laughs> <laughs> For later. For now, please. Drop it. Oh. No. No? Oh, yes, that's right. It's in the Cauldron Lake area. It's all the same in my brain, but in the game, it's not. Let's try to do our best to find everything. I think I found most of them, but I definitely didn't find all of them. So I'm going to try my best to find all of them. <laughs> we'll see, though. They're pretty hidden. They're definitely pretty hidden. I think that's all we need for this board. Yeah, we're pretty good. So let's get out of here. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Mr. Nightingale. Large amount of blood on the table. Well, that happens when you the cut somebody open. Here. We can look at all the clues now. Yeah, tripod. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was like, it for a camera? Well, how about the Someone beers? was drinking beer. They spent time here. Waiting. Skulking about. There's footprints. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? 
Maybe a cult? In the trees? In the world? Hmm. Alright, I think... Is that all the clues? I don't think so. It's been a minute. Murder at Cauldron Lake. Heavy blood splatter. The victim, right? Okay, multiple set of footprints. The killers. Blood splatter. The killers? They always put things on the cards. Indicating multiple killers. Quite that I wouldn't party. think. I'd be like, the blood is related to the victim, but nope. That's why I'm not a detective, man. <laughs> I'd be like, that's a thing. That's why I sit here on my ass playing video games. Hi. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He Nightingale. was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, yeah. and sisters. Sir, you can kindly fuck right off. I'm the boss here. So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. He went through the storm? So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze. Booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Literally. Guess he ended up here. I bet Into there's more the to that darkness. story. But no happy ending. Hmm. <laughs> Gotta love the writing here. The double and triple meanings behind the words. No happy ending. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. Just like the other Same victims. as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. The fringe pattern? Probably something this town wants to forget. Yeah, probably. Nobody enjoys the darkness, but we all live in it. I think that's everything. And with it. For now, at least. Mm-hmm. Anything clicking yet? Not sure. My mouse? Need to think about it. Well, can we get some coffee? Party on. I'll be back in a second. Okay, Roger. bye. I think we go down, right? Can I had to review the clues. Yes, yes, yes. Can we go down to the beach yet? I don't know if we can. Oh, no. But we can check out this sign that we didn't get to before. By the FBC. Hello? Hey, Lake House. Hello, this is Agent Anderson and Agent Casey, FBI. We'd like to come in and ask a few questions pertaining to an investigation. The station heads are not currently available. Access is restricted without their permission. Is that new? I don't nice remember. Nice talking to you, too. Not, probably not new. But it is significant now in our minds because we know that the Lake House DLC is coming out in October. My guess would be like maybe the middle of October. Closer to when the game releases, like the physical game releases. Ah, yes, the trailer. Lovely. I'm gonna go check something out. Cult symbols. Right Got it. A creepy twig sculpture. Mm. I had to review the clues. Oh yes, the boxes, the math. Wonder what's inside. I'm not ready for the math. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Wash your hands, take the chicken out of the fridge, and take a nap. If you don't understand the instructions, you're fucked up. Alright, well, let's go follow orders. I'm blind. Can we... Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Okay, I've got... A lovely... Head cat... Why is that cat... What? Who? I'm not gonna ask questions about why the stains are on the couch. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. Hmm. I'm sure it was very furry. That's not chicken. 
This is chicken, though, in the fridge. But we need to uh, wash our hands first in the bathroom here. Because, you know, as you do, cult symbols in the bathroom. Taking a nap. Yep. I, you know, the sleeping bag looks better. And then we can read this. I think it's about the same. Yeah, it's the same. Just saying, the lake is a caldera, something formed by an erupting volcano, or the sinkholes it leaves in its wake. What if that's not true? What if it's something else? Something less natural? Much more man-made? The lake, the place so wild and serene. That's not in here, but I, I wanted to sneak it in there. I should have done it when we were looking at the pristine view. That would have been the better opportunity, but um, it's fine. So I, I got the code here. Let's let's make sure. Uh, the bathroom was this guy, and then the fridge was the hourglass, and then this guy. Yeah, baby, post-its for the win. Hey, let's get back to work over here, can we? I'm working here. Don't take anything if you aren't one of the trees. Well, shucks. I like, can make like a tree. And stand up straight. I'm waiting for Anderson to tell one of her, her lovely jokes. A tree angle. Where's the claps? Where's the applause? Can we make it down to Cauldron Lake yet? I don't think we can. I think it's flooded still. But let's go checky outy. There's still... There's still stuff around to look at. Whoop, 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 whoop. Would you look at this? Super creepy. We're done loading, too. Hello. Can't go any further. Water's too deep. Well... Shit. Nothing over there. Nothing's gonna come popping out of the water yet. The witch's ladle. Did we find the witch herself? Barbara Jagger with no heart. There is no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape. And yet there are many mysterious stories about the lake. It being a gloomy doorway to the underworld or of a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. The legend tells that when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree, the witch's ladle. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers. If she was not a witch before, she was one now. She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake. Then she took out his heart and locked it in a box. She put it in a jar of dirt and tossed it off to the Caribbean. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf. Or so the legend goes. Or should I do? Or so the legend goes. Okie dokie. Bye, Barbara. We can't go through your witch's little tree of... Closed for business. She says, not today, thank you. No means no. I'll turn around and go. It's okay, we'll be back here plenty. Climbing up. <laughs> Do you like my my red rain jacket and my galoshes? Hanging out here. Ugh. That's not creepy at all. Oh yes, yes, yes. This is a thing, isn't it? Isn't there a lunchbox and shit over here? Yeah, kinda. Of. Nope, not a lunchbox. Friday. Midge told me that her family is moving away. This sucks. We read this before. Yeah, yeah. They're upset that she's moving away. Bullets and... What was that? Batteries? Batteries. I'll take those. Batteries are great. And... Did I... Yeah, okay. Good to go. Oh no no no! Here a it is, here it is. again. I thought there was one over here. I was like, Who's "Isn't there one?" These out here. A little miss waitress. I know things can get a little crazy around here, but if you're ever feeling scared, just remember that Alan, Alan, 
is watching over us. Uh, thank you. I need those. I'm broke. I have no puzzle fragments whatsoever. I must have used them all in my dire fight at the end last time. Nope, nope, that's where I came from. Uh, I don't think we can go- oh, yes we can. I take it back. Please, I'm blind. This becomes a safe haven later when we get our mystical powers. Is there anything in it now? Other than the creaking and the creepiness? Oh, we got a cauldron. Straight up with a with a pentagram. Lovely. And an ore. It's disappointing it's not a witch's broom. Not on theme there. Oh, the witch's hut. Straight up. Her spirit may still haunt this place. Sick. Tell her I said hi. I'll leave her some cookies next time. And wow, the light adjusts. Is this some um, something? Don't mind me, just exploring the woods. No can do over here. Oh yeah, see? We get this stuff later. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And then the the those things, those charms. They, they tell you where the eggs are. The knitted eggs. Which is where the lunch boxes are. Oh yeah. I remember. I think there's one up here. There's a bunch. There's a bunch in these woods. And I definitely forget. Hey Casey. What's the forest's favorite shape? A triangle! Just one case without the red. A triangle. I don't get it. <laughs> yes, you do. Sir, it's not that hard. You are clearly not smarter than a fifth grader. If you don't get the triangle! Lunchbox? Lunchbox? Mortar Falls. Yep. Aha! This. I keep going. I think that's everything, and then it's definitely not. UFOs! Okay, this is interesting. Writing this down in case it happens again, and I forget. I got that feeling again. It hit me suddenly at 1.15am after I finished my ama on the porch of the trailer. I got in the car and drove, chasing it. Starry night, not much moon. As expected, it led me past Bright Falls to Cauldron Lake. I tried to find the right spot, the right emotion, the right thought. The combination to have it all aligned to make it happen. Terrified it would work. It didn't. Not this time. Frustrated, but relieved. I scanned the sky for shapes, the objects, nothing. But when I blink repeatedly, I think I saw the afterimage of an octahedron. It faded fast. When I got ready to drive back, I felt someone watching me. Here, but not here. It's him. I know it is. Does he know I'm getting close? I'm on the right track. I was right to come to Bright Falls. So I don't know who would have this, but it gives me the impression that it might be like a Sean Ashmore type. Uh, because it mentions this right here, the countermeasure also known as the CFR, the Chronon Field Regulator. Um, that's giving me quantum break vibes here. Do we get anything? I'm getting flashbacks. Oh yeah? Remember Ohio? Sure. The North Side Slasher. But that case was completely different. The trees, Anderson. Eggs. He hid the bodies in the forest. Did he now? Sounds frightening. Alrighty, I think we've made it in one big ass circle. So I think we found. Good to see you still in one piece, Anderson. I am still here, Forest sir. Forest can be a dangerous place. Is that a threat? I'm still here, sir. I think we found. Ooh, not that. I th we found everything. I think that we can find. We'll be back too, so I'm not too worried about missing some of the lunch boxes and stuff. I think we found a lot of them, but we definitely not all the buttons. Uh, I need the cases. So let's get back to the case at hand, shall we? We now have the identity of Nightingale, so we can throw it on here. 
<laughs> I turned off the tutorial, by the way. Robert was Nightingale, annoying. XFBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. 13 years ago, you say? Ah, uh, what a kooinky dink. Premeditated or spontaneous? <laughs> oh, this haunts me right now. The the case that I'm working on right now for work, the whole thing is about whether it was premeditated or not premeditated, spontaneous, right? It's haunting me. Everything. Ah, uh, my work. I can never get away. It's a good they time. Planned now. for the murder to happen here. It's turning out well. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? Why indeed. He's been missing for 13 years. How do they know he would show up? Why here? Why now? Because it was written. It was... The lake! That's where he came from. Profiling. Drowned. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Yes. The Anderson power of seeing. Oh, now I can do some stuff. Yes, no, no. No. Okay, not everything. Just some. I do have some more. Oh, the coffee cup. This mug always cheers me up. Not the worst, Mom. That's so sad, but also hilarious. Ah, see, like we can look at things now. Casey's favorite brand. Irish whiskey. It's terrible. Well, so we did pick up a little bit, but everything we need is like 12, 18, et cetera, et cetera. Even the other guns when we eventually get to them. I don't know when we get them. My guess is that we have to get to our trunk in order to get the rest of our items. And then we'll probably be right you know, with all the stuff that we had at the, the ending of the original game. Uh, but probably until then, we are stuck with our pistol. I want to check out the map real quick just before so us here we checked out the witch's ladle and the witch's sign that was Barbara Jagger's sign and the hut and then all of this gets flooded but obviously we know that we can get to it later I wish you know I do wish they would mark uh, on the map the items that you find like it, if they would do um, the, like the lunch boxes I don't remember if they do that at some point. I feel like they do, and then part of me feels like they don't. I don't remember. We'll find out. <laughs> like I said, I remember, but it's also been a while. Nightingale, Nightingale, tell me your secrets. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. It's an ocean. He was there, too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. God, his voice is so creepy. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. And it wasn't his heart. Ooh. They said horror? Hold my beer. Oh dear diner menu. I didn't notice that before. We got the body. Some other body reports. Greetings from Cauldron Lake. A lot of this stuff is very designed, very Twin Peaksy, like also just kind of the era, the Americana, like the it, it's all obviously on brand, on theme, but um, it is funny to see it. All right, let's answer our questions, shall we? He came from the lake. Hmm. Good, amazing. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll just uh, I'll just wait here. You keep an eye on the body, sir. Make sure it doesn't get up and walk around and move and scare the shit out of people. And don't get possessed. 
Thank you. That's an order. Pop this it. one of your hunches, Anderson? Yes, sir. Did something happened at the lake? Yes. I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. We run so Safety. awkward. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. I'm telling you, sure. sir. It's not that complicated. Open your ears. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night. And your possibly heart. nude. The killers knew he was here. Possibly. Ambushed him. Dragged him to the campgrounds. Strapped him to the table. Cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. Is it? What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? Haven't figured that part out yet. Wouldn't mm -hmm. you like to know? Lots of questions. Lots, Lots of answers of for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. Gives me the creeps. So does your you face. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy, though. I'm just kidding. I love you. Look at that chiseled jaw. I can't make the faces that he makes. I don't have your face, sir. You are a legend. Um, can I stick my hand in the tree? <gasps> Ooh, tracks, barefoot, nightingales, toes. They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. Well, there's a piece of paper on the ground. <gasps> Not the paper. I wonder if this has changed, the, the pages that we find. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old, Old school. school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm, like a manuscript. Page of a story. Hmm, the killer left a message. Shitty first drafts. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own, FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found, the first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt, like a message. felt like a message. Someone knew they were here, someone playing a game with them. An, An invitation. invitation. How, How could, could they, they not accept, accept even, even if, if they, they knew it would end up hurting them? them. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Not Either that. he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. He kept it up his ass and dropped it. <laughs> I was like, where would he put it? Footprints emerging from under the rock. The trail has gone cold. I think he came from the lake, but his tracks make no sense. Reading the words, these words, felt like a message. Someone playing a game. Jigsaw's busy, he's got a bestie. So the killer is watching us? Game on. I love her. Manuscripts. So did this change? I don't think so. There's nothing in here that I don't remember. So I think this one is for sure the same. I mean, it maybe makes sense because the story has to be written the way that the story goes, right? In order for it to start, it has to end the same way, right? Because, well, the beginning of the game, though, of this game, of the final draft, implies that things are going to be different, right? He said... It's a spiral, not a loop. Meaning that instead of it ending where it begins, it ends somewhere different, right? Whether that's good or bad remains to be seen, but somewhere different, right? So maybe some of the other pages change further into the game because return has to be the same in order for Alan to get out. But maybe initiation changes. We'll see. 
Um, that or it's probably just too much of a pain in the ass to rewrite every single page. There's a profile nightingale about this page. There's so much shit. Yes, we should ask him questions. Ah, and we're back here. Nightingale. Ooh. We found a page in the woods. Did you draw it? A story it? about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? Where were you putting it? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. Yep. I must find out what. Lovely. Just gotta reach in. Can you imagine if if Saga just like walked right up to the the crime scene and he's like just laying on the 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 woods, the cabin table, and she just like <laughs> sticks her hand right in. She's like, "Yep, got it." <laughs> That'd be so nasty, but also serious balls. But you're also definitely contaminating the crime scene. Just saying. Oh 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 oh. Is that new? That's new for sure. I don't remember a second page. Am I crazy? Why do I keep doing that? I think he has something hidden inside of him. Yes, for sure. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. What did I just pick See up? What I can find inside. Hold the phone. Ah! Saga bent down to inspect the body on the table. Somehow it felt familiar. The straps, the heart, the mutilated corpse laying on the rain-soaked wood. Like deja vu. This is new. She chased the source of the feeling. Found nothing. None of the victims from her past cases resembled this one. It didn't feel like anything from her past. More like something from a dream. From a life she could barely remember. Maybe one that wasn't even hers. Then the feeling passed. Like a shadow in the trees shifting with the wind. Saga blinked. Shook the feeling from her head. She turned her focus back on the work. There was a lot to do. Casing the deputy were watching her. She had a feeling this would be an exciting case. Yeah, it is. Okay, that's new. Because the, the, the first one we definitely have seen before, obviously. And like I said, I think it's just following the thing. But this... I don't remember this one. I think this one is the game going, Haha, you played this before! Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Let's meet the sheriff. Played by Sean Ashmore. Can we not load? There we go. We're back! Yeah! <laughs> and <laughs> she, she gets completely derailed by Casey when we run. Like, if I run too close to him, she's like, Ugh. So I think we found hey, all the things and Good. stuff. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Huh. Just like you said. I wish I could just Right now, save me some Deputies. problems. I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deer Fest. I'll do it. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Deer Diner in town. Great. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Oh. I'll take it. Thank you. Thanks. Let's get the car, drive to Bright Falls, and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Of course Let's you try can. that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. You, you just walked away. I didn't see nothing. I was just gonna say bye-bye, spelled fuck you. All right, let's head off. I think we found everything, because we looked at that gate earlier. Hello? Your hair is looking very crisp today, I'm just, just gotta say. Just... Yep. Gonna move on. Key! Woo! Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside. 
pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. He doesn't Deputies like hikes. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Well, you know. Sorry, I zoned out. I was looking at the SBC. We can say hi to our buddy friend over here. My game for weeks out every time we get to a new area. It's like, oh my god, so much to process. I'll look around. My brain. See is you he, in oh, bed. is he not in time. here? Do not touch. The station is property of the SBC. Well. <gasps> Eggs! <clears throat> Please There's and thank you. There's another lunchbox. Casey! <laughs> Come here, buddy! We're all in this together. Hero! Have a heroic day! I just gotta read it in Rose's voice now. Where she's got that gleeful shotgun blood splatter fish on the walls type of thing, you know what I mean? That's just, that's how you gotta, how do you do it? <clears throat> I, I loved that DLC, that was so fun. So our FBC friend is not here today, or at least not yet. All right, we'll carry on. Keep going. Can you trot? Could we run? No, I'm just gonna go around you. All right, that's fine. I'll take the lead. Can't I'm fit the, the boss. clues all together yet. Heart removed. Tripod. Tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod <sighs> for a camera. To He's a YouTuber. A snuff film? Or Maybe. It's pretty and nasty. why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. To find, you know, things. Can't open doors? I'll open them for you. Shortcut key. I'm the opener of doors. Sean Ashmore does it better though, just saying. Oh, can we read this? The Federal Bureau of Control? That's a new one. Is it? Toxic volcanic gas, huh? The FBC is an obscure branch. Only shows up for... Blue Rose Crimes. Or that. Well, what's so unusual about volcanic gas? Beats me. They got, they got things to do. We're just gonna casually saunter up here. Don't mind us. Get back to the car! This is so good. Here we are. I'm glad to be back. Let's drive back to town and meet yes, the sheriff at the diner. Yes, ma'am. You got it. Bright Falls, here we come. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly killers. before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. Yeah, I we wasn't are. Sure about taking like we've done so it before. Home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Me too. To be back. You don't know it yet, Saga. Ha! <laughs> the coffee thermos. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. Hell yeah. We've made it to town. Get all bright falls. Very exciting. Oh, it's so good to be back. Dear the fast. diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. Coffee I mug. smell coffee. Coffee. Hell yeah. Look at you. You're all nice and bright in the sun. My jacket looks hella awesome. Oh, we've got all the people. It looks so good. So good. Damn, I'm so happy to be here. Even though my computer's like, holy fuck, this game again. Not again. Oh. All right. Well, I think I'm going to call it here for this first episode. This, I was just getting a feel for the game again. Just get bit back in. We got a couple of new things. It's a spiral. Octahedron. Like deja vu. It's a taste, if you will, of the final draft. If there's anything that this game does really well, it's just compiling 
the motifs, the themes, the mystery. It does a really good job of layering all of those things together, making such a complicated, intricate, but still understandable and really compelling story. You know, I think there, that there's an easy way to like get lost. lost in this and have it go completely haywire. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode for the final draft. I'm glad to be back. I hope you guys are too. So check it out right here. That'll be the next one. If you guys haven't seen my first playthrough of this, you guys can check it out right here. So get your coffee mugs. We're back in Bright Falls, guys. See you then.